After a massive media announcement yesterday afternoon, the Vegas Golden Knights have made it more than clear that they intend on being the kings of the desert for years to come, and not only in Nevada, as now they've planted their flag here in Arizona as well. Hey everybody, welcome into Clearing the Benches, your one-stop shop for hockey content. If you go ahead and hit your subscribe button right now, you'll be sure to be in on all of our future videos. Well, now that the Coyotes are gone, Vegas is jumping on the opportunity to fill this market. And not only is the team very popular, but they are the closest team now to Phoenix. They are probably about 400 miles away. And yesterday, they made a massive announcement. And yesterday, along with Scripps Sports, they announced that 55 Vegas Golden Knights games this upcoming season will be available on free TV here in Arizona in both the Phoenix and Tucson markets. Uh, the games are going to be shown on two ABC affiliates, the Arizona 58 down in Tucson, and here in Phoenix, they will be on the Arizona 61 station. Uh, basically, what this is doing is it's speeding up the extinction of Phoenix Coyotes fans. Uh, you know, the fan base is split probably about 60-40. I would say about 60% of the fans are going to follow the team up in Utah and watch their games. And I would say 40% of the fans are just done with it and they are ready to move on to another team. And I think Vegas is capitalizing big time on that opportunity. Um, also, all of Vegas's games. So if you're a Vegas fan, you get the 55 free ones here in Phoenix and Tucson, but then you can also watch the rest of their games, and they've got all of their games available on scripts via the official streaming platform of the Vegas Golden Knights, which is Nighttime Plus. Uh, in addition to taking over the TV market, they have already got some scheduled youth hockey clinics going on here in Arizona. They've got one coming up uh, real soon in Gilbert, and they've also organized a watch party, and I believe it's going to be a Vegas Golden Knights game against the Stanley Cup champion, Florida Panthers. So that's going to be really interesting. I'm going to go, and I'm going to check it out for sure. But I'm going to go and see just how many people who, you know, rooted for the Coyotes for years are all of a sudden just going to drop off and go over to Vegas. I personally do think it's going to be a significant number. I think with all the shenanigans and going in 20 different directions here in Phoenix, a lot of people are sick of it. And, you know, as far as stability goes, it's hard to find a better franchise than the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, what's this going to do in terms of the fan base here in Phoenix as far as, you know, former Coyotes fans? Like we said, I think that number is dwindling, going down the drain. And honestly, I think by the end of this season, you're probably going to have about 20 to 25 percent of the fans that are following the Coyotes still following them up in Utah. Um, Coyotes, you know, it's kind of one of those out of sight, out of mind things. And again, you know, they've only been gone for five months and already Vegas has jumped in. And this is something that, you know, nothing for nothing. The Coyotes had some watch parties and, you know, people attended it. Uh, but when you see when Vegas does things, it seems like their events are just massive. So I'm very excited to see uh, what Vegas puts behind this effort. Not only do we know that they've got the TV rights now, but I want to see uh, what this does for youth hockey here. Um, you know... They've had their games. Another thing is, too, is they're trying to grow their fan base out through the West Coast. And did you know that now that Vegas Golden Knights games are seen in three states who don't have an NHL hockey team? Uh, Arizona, Idaho, and Montana. Listen, a lot of people live in those states. And if you're the only game in town on television, why wouldn't you become a fan of theirs? So I think what they're doing right there is just an excellent move. Uh, I'm wondering if they're going to take over the Arizona Junior Coyotes youth hockey program. I know that Morello said he had donated some money, and I think it was about a year's worth. So I'm very curious. I'm going to go check out this youth clinic and see how many people show up. Uh, you know, this is going to be kind of, uh, you know, I don't want to say the why in the road, but, you know, this is one of these things where... Is there going to be a huge drop-off in youth hockey here in Phoenix because the Coyotes are, go are gone? 
Or could something like this, Vegas, come in and just supplant them and just take it over? Maybe, you know, they come up with something and they become, you know, the Desert Knights or something like that. But I definitely think uh, that they're going to be really, really heavily involved. It doesn't seem like Vegas does anything half-baked. It looks like everything they do, they go all in on. Uh, and when I look at what is this help or hurt? Phoenix's opportunity to get a new arena in the future. I think it can only help it. Listen, if no one shows up, uh, you know, at these hockey clinics and, you know, the ratings here in Arizona are rock bottom and no one's watching, you know, the Vegas games, it may be one of those things where they just say, hey, we'll show the games on TV, but we'll pull out as far as youth sports go. You know, there's not enough of a demand. I personally don't think that's going to be the case. You go to any of the three ice stands out here, and they are just slammed, especially the one up in Scottsdale. They got three sheets of ice, and you're always, always waiting to get on. It's always a full house there. So again, it's going to be very interesting to see if Vegas pours their money into the youth program as well. Uh, and when I look at, you know, possibility of a new arena, you know, again, if these people all have big time ratings on television and these events are sold out, I think, you know, that's going to say hockey is still alive in the desert and people would want it. And maybe you'd get a big company, a company like Live Nation that just prints out money and they're run by Canadians. Buy a hockey arena and, you know, or build a hockey arena here in Phoenix and don't worry about casinos and you can have everything you want. I'm pretty sure you would get a pretty healthy fan base at least the first couple of years back. Uh, and then finally, I'm wondering, you know, if you're a Coyotes fan now and, you know, you're disgruntled, obviously, because the team just pulled up and left and went to Utah. My question is to you is, are you going to watch Utah Hockey Club games or are you going to watch Vegas Golden Knights games on free TV? So that's going to do it for this video. Big, big announcement that Vegas is taking over here in Arizona. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. If you would continue to watch the Utah hockey games on DirecTV. Or if you would just watch these games for free on scripts. Uh, if you could, please like the video. If you want to subscribe, that always helps us out. And as we always do here at Clearing the Benches... Let them know you're out there.